Some people think that I've moved back to Dhaka, but that's not true. Well, it is partially true. I did move to Dhaka, but I did not move back to Dhaka. I've actually never lived in Dhaka, so... Hello Dhaka, my name is Sarah, ex-food blogger, future entrepreneur, trying to open a restaurant in this vibrant city full of foodies. I also go by the name Pail, which is my duck now, nickname. <laughs> like most people in Bangladesh, I do have two names. So you can call me Sarah, you can call me Pail. I respond to both. And I am super, super, super excited to be here in my mother, motherland. Yeah, I was actually born and raised in Qatar which is in the Middle East, and then I moved to Canada. So yeah, this is the first time me calling Taka home. Although Taka is not very unfamiliar to me, I visited here a lot. We would visit a lot when we lived in Qatar, not so much when uh, I moved to Canada because I would choose to go to Qatar instead of coming to Taka. And the last time I was in Taka was almost five and a half years ago, January. 2018. 2017. 2017. January 2017, yes. I tried to do this video earlier in the day and tried to pause and restart every time there was traffic noises, but you know what? It's a constant here in Taka. Cannot avoid that, cannot run away from it. So I know you guys will understand and deal with it hopefully stick around because of me and not leave because of the traffic. Since I've come to Dhaka, I've been getting questions like why Dhaka, why do you go to Bangladesh? And my one answer in one word is money. I'd be lying if I said I did not constantly think about being a successful entrepreneur, earning lots of money anywhere I live. So I've always dreamt about being a successful entrepreneur in the food and beverage hospitality sector and I've worked in uh, restaurants for years now in Canada and I've learned a lot I have unlearned a lot of things and when I saw myself opening my own restaurant I studied different countries and I looked at all the numbers and Taka made the most sense for me I saw an opportunity to bring something fresh and exciting into the culinary scene here. There are amazing restaurants here in Tampa and more and more are emerging every day. But one thing that I keep hearing all the time is restaurants over here fail to be consistent. One day they are amazing and you visit them after a month and their quality has floored. There's also constant talks about restaurants not innovating and being creative and I have seen that firsthand that people are just trying to copy of one another and most restaurants are doing the same thing over and over again. Um, I'm not trying to bash any restaurants here in Taka or the restaurants that are coming out of Bangladesh but I'm just putting us on a global level and comparing us with our neighbors. The restaurants that are coming out of our neighboring countries are more centered around food and the culture and there is more enthusiasm and innovation that they are creating. And I feel like we can do that as well. And we can also put ourselves on the global map and be a culinary destination. I wish to do that and I hope I get all the support from the city of Taka, from the people of Taka who will really enjoy the food rather than the decor. Of course, decor matters as well. My restaurants are really beautiful, but I really want to focus on the culture behind the food. There are a handful of restaurants that are really pushing the boundaries and I am excited to go ahead and try them out but I also want to be part of that dynamic industry. I want to bring in something fresh, something exciting, something new. And hopefully I can deliver that. I did sign my lease agreement finally, and I'm really excited. It is a place that I've been manifesting for months and months now. I've been talking to this realtor from Canada, actually, and he would show me constantly different locations, and this place that I saw, I've been seeing it for like, over a month now and I've been in touch with the landlord for a month so when I finally got to see the place in person I was like yes 
this is it. So I'm really excited. I'm going to share more behind the scenes and how the place looks like and what it's going to look like, my whole journey with you guys on this channel. Hopefully it will help somebody out, somebody who wants to open their own restaurant, somebody who wants to start a journey in the food industry here in Taka. And I encourage people because uh, there's a lot that can be done. There's a lot the city needs and a lot that we need to work on to be on that global level of being a culinary destination. My parents think that I'm really naive and it's okay to be naive. I mean, I am new in this city and um, I just want to focus on the positives instead of focusing on the negative things because what you focus on will manifest into reality. Where your attention goes, that thing grows. I recently saw this infographic that all my friends are sharing on social media which said that Bangladesh is like the seventh most stressed out country in the world and I'm like yeah I can see why. My parents are constantly stressed out about even me leaving the house going 200 meters away to buy some groceries. So the hard part is not living in Taka. The challenging part is living back with my parents. Because it's been 10 years since we lived together. So with them, I'm still that kiddo who gets in trouble all the time. But it's a constant work in progress, trying to understand each other's dynamic and them giving me the space to grow and be free. But I'm really grateful for having them as my support system. I'm really grateful for this city of Taka, for all the opportunities that are about to come my way and I am really focusing on the positives rather than the negatives because I believe you can manifest literally anything in your life if you are positive about life and have gratitude in your life. Success will flow if you believe in yourself. With that being said, I hope you guys will stick around and watch me grow and navigate my life here in Taka. Watch me be a successful entrepreneur in the food and beverage industry and uh, give me all the support. I really need it. If you're, if any of you watching is ever in Taka, please, please, please hit me up. Make sure you visit my restaurant. I will share all the details in the next few months. Uh, hopefully, it will be open by September. Fingers crossed. And uh, I'm gonna try to push content constantly and make one of these videos once a week not super consistent i do feel burnout really fast when it comes to social media but i'm trying to be a little more consistent and push out the video once a week and give you guys a little behind the scenes in my life and what i care about because it's not just food and beverage and entrepreneurship that i care about there are plenty other things that i care about so get to know me enjoy like comment subscribe i don't know how do you end a youtube video like comment subscribe share DM me. I don't know. Okay, bye.